Good afternoon all, my name is Trooper Gamil Reeves. I'm with the Indiana State Police Commercial Motor Vehicle Enforcement Division. Uh, today we have this, uh, this driveway tollway unit stopped and we're gonna be doing a safety inspection on this unit. And so let's begin. So upon the stop, you're gonna see the red and blue lights that come on. Don't be, don't be worried, don't be afraid, don't panic. It could be that there's a violation that's been committed or it could just be that there's a safety inspection that's gonna be done. So what you need to do is make sure that you activate your four-way flashers. So by having your four-way flashers on, that lets the officer know that uh, you acknowledge that you see him and that you're looking for a safe place to pull over. Make sure you find a safe place to pull over. You don't wanna stop on uh, a curve, um, soft ground, or anything like that. Make sure you find a straight level uh, area, maybe a rest stop or something off to the side of the road uh, where the officer or inspector can conduct a, a safety investigation or safety inspection uh, with no problems. So from there, stay inside your vehicle. The inspector will be up to talk to you in just a minute. So the inspector is gonna walk up to the vehicle. He's gonna go all the way up to the driver and he's gonna conduct probably the first 13 to 14 steps of his inspection procedure here at the driver's door, okay? Good afternoon, sir. My name is Trooper Reeves. I'm with the State Police Commercial Vehicle Enforcement Division. Uh, today you've been stopped just for a safety inspection. I'm going to need to see all your proper paperwork, driver's license, registration, insurance, shipping papers for your unit, logs, etc. So with that, again, that's the first 13 steps of the inspection. It's going to be right here at the driver's door getting the driver's information. Again, it's important for the driver to know exactly where his paperwork uh, his paperwork and his documents are because the longer that this kind of interaction takes place, uh, you know, it becomes unsafe, especially if there's, uh, if you're on a, a highway and cars are still speeding by, okay? So he's gonna give me his paperwork. I'm gonna go back to the car and I'm gonna place that back in my vehicle and I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna conduct the, the continuation of the safety inspection, um, which after the first 13, which is a level three. Now we start talking about a level two, which is a walk around inspection or a level one, which means I might go under the vehicle and actually check the brakes and things like that out as well. So, thank you, sir. So, okay, after I come back, after I return from my vehicle, uh, place all the driver's information back in my vehicle because I don't want to hold it. I don't want it to blow away. So now I'm going to start and I'm going to conduct my, my level two uh, inspection. It's going to be a walk around inspection just to make sure that the vehicle is in compliance. Okay, so let's start up here at the beginning. So here, driver, lights are on like it's nighttime. Turn your flashers off. Good, thank you very much. Now I'm gonna be checking the lights. Driver, high beams, right turn signal, left turn signal, four-way flashers, good. Horn, wipers, washer fluid, good, thank you very much. So after I conducted this first part uh, of the inspection up front, check the lights here. Now I'm gonna walk around to the side, to the left side of the, the power unit, all the way to the back to make sure the lights are working properly at the rear of the truck as well as the rear of the trailer, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Driver, if you would, make sure you watch me in the mirror. I'm gonna check the lights on the truck as well as the trailer, okay? Thank you. Looking to make sure that everything is good. I'm also looking at wheels and tires as I walk around this section as well. As you can see, the, the tires look really good. Here, tread depth is good. I'm gonna feel on the, the fasteners to make sure that all those are up. We did the same thing at this tire as well. As I walk this side, I'm looking at the coupling device as well, making sure the coupling device looks good, free of cracks, brakes, things like that. Secured here, I see the breakaway that's connected. I'm also gonna sit here and look inside here to make sure that the latch is connected. That looks good as well. I see that the breakaway is connected to the power unit. The lighting source is hooked up. There is a license plate on here. Got lights back here in the rear. Driver, right turn signal. Left turn signal. Four-way flashers. Good. Brake. Very good. And now reverse. Good. Thank you very much. So from here, everything checks well back here. Now I'm going to continue to walk along the side of this trailer. Make sure that everything is good here until I get to the rear. Again, just because this is a new trailer doesn't mean that you don't need to look at the tires and things here. So during your pre-trip inspection, you want to make sure that these are, these are uh, uh, in compliance as well. There are times where you, you could have hidden something. Um, 
and you have a bulge in the sidewall, it could be underinflated, but I want to make sure that the fasteners are connected here as well. All these look good. Tire seems like they have good pressure. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Check this out. Everything's good. Tread depth looks good. Tire still looks new, which is okay. Then we're gonna keep going to the rear. Now again, we're in the back of the we're in the back of the trailer. We still want to make sure that the lights work. Again, as I mentioned earlier, just because the it's brand new doesn't mean that it could it's all defect free. Okay, so I'm gonna say driver, right turn signal, left turn signal, four-way flashers, brake. Good, thank you. Check the lights here, lights are good. I'm also checking the marker and the clearance lamps up top here. Okay, see that each one of those are illuminated and are working properly. So from here, license plates also on the back. You always wanna make sure that you don't forget your license plate. Okay, we're gonna walk around to the right side of the trailer now. Right side of the trailer, I look down, make sure that it's defect free. There's nothing hanging off to the sides. I come and I check these tires out as well. Make sure that these are all fastened. Make sure they're properly inflated. Same thing. Everything's good here. We'll continue to walk. Now that I'm on this side of the truck, I also look to make sure that the coupling device is good. Everything's connected here as well. No cracks, no brakes, securely mounted to the truck as well. Uh, that looks good as well. It's properly latched, looks good. I'm gonna check the exhaust here on the side. I don't see excessive fumes coming out. Checking the exhaust, make sure that it's properly fastened to the vehicle. From here, check this tire out. Got a dually here, so there's two sets of tires. Both seem inflated, no defects. Put my hand in here to make sure there's nothing, no chunks of rock or ice or anything that can launch out, hit another vehicle. That's good as well. I can see some of the leaf spring and suspension in here. Looks good. So now we continue to move. As I go here, I'll make sure on this side of the unit also, I see the DOT signs. Markings, US DOT, legible for 50 feet, contrasting background. Mirror, mirrors are good, see that as well. Check this tire out. Everything's looking good here with this unit. So from here, inspector, after he does his level two inspection, which pretty much will be done, I'm gonna also check to make sure that the, uh, the driver has, uh, it's not required, but make sure that he has his fire extinguisher, make sure that he has the safety triangles. You wanna make sure that you have that uh, when, during your pre-trip because those are violations that could, uh, that could be costly. Just make sure that as you do your pre-trip, it's, it's, it's about you and the company. Com uh, complacency is what gets us in most trouble, okay? So if you're not complacent, you make sure that you're doing everything right, the company's doing what they need to do, hey, everything's all about safety and, and it's a win-win. Okay, so at this time, uh, after we've conducted our, our level two safety inspection, um, inspector's gonna come back and now he's gonna check the paperwork. Um, he's gonna check the driver's license to make sure that uh, that the driver has a valid driver's license, gonna be checking the registrations. Um, I'm gonna be checking the log book and running things through the computer system to make sure that, uh, that everything is uh, proper uh, with the driver and with the company. And um, you know, again, just like this driver here, the driver has a, a co-driver, um, which is also an employee of the company. If you have any other occupants in the vehicle, the inspector might ask you who that person is and to make sure that the company has given you authorization and permission in order to have that person in the vehicle with you. So um, just things to think about. And, um, but again, this part right here probably takes more time um, than sometimes doing the actual inspection itself. And once um, this part is complete, the driver's gonna end up, or I'm sorry, the inspector's gonna end up doing a, uh, an inspection report and he's gonna list if he found any violations. He's gonna list the violations on the inspection report. 
Um, if the dry, if the inspector does an actual level one inspection where he goes under and actually measures the brakes um, and checks the undercarriage of the unit as well, if no violations are found, the inspector can issue out a CVSA sticker to say that uh, you passed all critical uh, issues with the level one safety inspection. So as I continue this part, uh, thank you for joining me with this uh, safety inspection today and uh, uh, I hope everything goes out well for you. Thank you. Now that you've completed your roadside inspection with the DOT officer, it's time to submit your documents using the Driver Mobile Assist app. Use the menu and find My Submissions. Here you'll see Roadside Inspections. Make sure to submit any completed DOT inspection within two hours of the inspection date and time. Add any additional notes, then go ahead and prepare your documents to be scanned. Scan one page at a time, making sure that the image is crisp and clear so that you can see the text and content clearly. Go ahead and trim around the page so you're just submitting one page. Next, you can add another page or reorder the pages that you have scanned. Then you're all set. You can go ahead and hit send. Here you will see other documents that you have previously sent and the status of your documents. Good work. You've completed your DOT inspection to a full. Drive safe and stay compliant.